Hey guys, so today I'm here with a tutorial showing you how to install and run XBMC on your iPad, iPhone 4, or iPod Touch 4th generation. Now before we begin, I do want to note that only those three devices are supported at the current time. Now I do know that there are possible ways to get it on earlier devices, however I'm not going to be covering anything like that. I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to install it and a little bit about how it works. The first step is to open Cydia on your jailbroken device. Once you've done this, open up manage the Manage tab and then Sources. Now we're going to need to add a custom source here, that's, however it's not too difficult. Uh, well, the source you're going to add, now of course we have it in the description of this video as well, is mirrors.xbmc.org backslash apt backslash ios. And again, I will have that in the description of this video. Uh, the way to add it is hit Edit, click Add, and then all you will do is just punch in the uh, source name, just like I showed you. Uh, so, very simple. Let it go ahead and sync through and you'll be good to go. And then open it up once it is all added up. Uh, so, once you have it added, you will find these two applications in the source. All you need to do is press on the XBMC-IOS. And then up here, you will just go ahead and install it. Uh, now the servers are kind of getting crashed, right, or not crashed, but overloaded right now, so if it takes a little while, just be patient. You know, give your iPod or whatever device you have, give it a little bit of time, and as soon as it's done, you'll be ready to go. Now let me give you a very brief tour of what XBMC looks like on an iPhone or an iPod Touch. Do keep in mind, it should look a little bit better on the bigger display of the iPad. Uh, so the interface is fairly simple, although there are some definite cons with it. But I'll get into that in just a moment. Uh, so the way to navigate through this is just tap and then just kind of hold down. Uh, so if we want to take a look at weather, pictures, uh, video, programs, whatever we want. So actually let's go ahead and take a look at programs. So we'll just tap on that. Uh, as you can see, the XBMC interface is very nice looking, as you would expect. Uh, although a lot of the, uh, well, it's pretty much a basic port. There's not a whole lot of changes that have been made for iOS. So uh, while this is good for perhaps the Apple TV and, as I said, the iPad, it doesn't translate as well to the very small display of the iPhone and the iPod Touch, which I'm going to go ahead and show you a great example of that. So let's go ahead and just download, or rather let's just look at one of these, so we can just scroll through uh, that one. That'll, look, that'll work good. Or <laughs> we'll go to this one. Um, so, as you can see, it's very, very small. It's, it's kind of hard to, I mean, I can read it okay, but as far as trying to, to, I mean, if you guys can see that little tiny X right there, that is almost impossible. I mean, you know, I press it. There we go. It finally worked. Well, that's the first time. <laughs> I mean, it's it's really difficult to go ahead and navigate around this. Um, it's not a deal breaker by any means, and this is certainly something that I recommend that you guys check out at least, just solely for the uh, fact that it, you can go ahead and download and use a lot of different uh, videos that you might not be uh, be able to do earlier. Uh, and indeed, it also works with for, full hardware acceleration. So let's back out here. Um, it's going to be a little bit laggy, but not a big deal. Uh, so anyway, guys, that's it for XBMC for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. Uh, while it's not perfect and it definitely could use some optimizations for these platforms, it absolutely is worth it to go ahead and download it if you have a device that's jailbroken. Uh, now, the only other thing I do want to mention is that you need to be on 4.0 or later. Uh, this shouldn't be a problem if you have an iPhone or an iPod Touch. However, if you have an iPad um, that hasn't been updated to the latest firmware, you, that might be a little bit of an issue for you. Uh, so just do keep that in mind before you try to install this. Anyway guys, thanks for watching.